This is Rachel here from Akashic Angels, coming to you live from Albany, New York. I just wanted to, um, today I wanted to talk about some crystal books. Um, I am a certified crystal healer, so I love crystal books and all things crystals. So I just kind of wanted to go over like, what are some books that have helped me in my path? What books did I have to have for my certification? And hopefully you guys will resonate with these. And then I also pulled some crystal oracle cards that I thought I could pull for everybody that's listening. So the first one I want to talk about is the book of stones. Now, this one was um, part of my certified crystal healer course. I did take that through Hibiscus Moon. And what's cool about this book is that this explores 455 minerals, um, gemstones, and their uh, metaphysical energies. And they have, like, really nice, like, pictures of all of the crystals. You know, sometimes, like, you might pick up a crystal and be like, oh, what is this um, pink one? Oh, well, this sounds like pink highlight. You know what I mean? And that way you can kind of look at it because I don't know about you, but I, yes, I'm a certified crystal healer, but do I remember every single crystal that I pick up? Absolutely not. This one also shares the scientific information, the element and the chakra correspondences, which is really cool. So let's say today you want to work on your root chakra. So it may recommend, you know, dark black stones like black tourmaline or lodestone or something like that that may help with your root chakra so that's what i really like about this and it also talks about the history of the crystals for those that are scientific minded kind of want to dig into it and you see our what's the most popular crystal right now that you see a lot on tiktok moldavite this is a super powerful stone right now it's moldavite oh it's intense all right the next one i want to go to and this is not part of my certification but i liked it it's crystals for witches um, this one is that crystals have the power to affect the energy in and around a person or situation. What in crystals for witches will teach both the beginner and the seasoned witch how to use their power and to make crystal magic. Um, I really like it because it identifies crystals and healing stones. It goes over about 130. It has like really cool crystal grids in here. Let's say you want to do a crystal grid which can supercharge your manifestations. You want to have more abundance. You want to bring in love. You want to bring in um, health. Crystal grids are super amazing for doing that and amplifying it. And it also understands the spirit within. So it discovers how and why stone spirits are used in witchcraft and how to welcome them into your life. Well, that's pretty cool. And also how to harness their power, how to choose a crystal, cleanse it, and activate the crystal for altars, grids, uh, manifestations, meditation, spell work, and beyond. So it's really super important that you do cleanse your crystals. Um, you want to make sure that whenever you're working with the crystal, that you cleanse it, you want to charge it, and you want to activate it. So this kind of goes over. It's pretty cool. So the other book I want to talk about is The Crystal Healer. This one I really like. It's got tons of photos in it. Like you can see it as I'm just like flipping through the pages. Um, you can't, for those on the radio, I apologize. You can't see, I apologize. But it's got full of amazing pictures in it. It's like snowflake obsidian. I mean, that's really cool. It's a black and white crystal stone. And what I like about it, it's a hands-on guide. It talks about over 250 crystals. Um, and it also talks about ailments. So maybe like it's for the mind, body, and spirit and all together how to live a happier life. So let's say, okay, oh, celestite. If you want to work with uh, angels, celestite is a really good crystal to work with. Celestite is like a light blue one. Um, it is good for creative expression, speech, clear thought, especially about complex ideas. Now, they're not, what they're not telling you in here is that it's good with working with crystals. Or, I'm sorry, with angels. <laughs> I've got crystals on my mind, and I can't talk about the angels. Um, the emotional and spiritual, good for relaxation, dreams, dream recall, helps with stress, worry, and nightmares. And, oh, it does say it, linked fairly strongly to the angels. So if you want to amplify your connection to the angels, I recommend you get a piece of celestite. So the next book I want to talk about, and I love this book. I love it. I love it. It was not part of my certification. It's just an amazing book. It is the um, Crystal Muse. It explores how you can transform life challenges and the opportunities for growth by being equipped with the right crystals and mindset. Um, learn how you connect with the crystals and empower your life by using this guide. 
And you can, it also was really good about setting intentions. So attracting love through learning how to love yourself, reliving anxiety by surrendering to meditation, becoming a magnet for prosperity. It also has color guides. It also has um, like rituals with it. So this is a busting out of the box ritual. However, um, it's normal to want to get, stay in your comfort zone. It's a perfect place for you to feel safe, content, and secure. This is all about busting out of the box. I love this. I might actually have to try this for myself. So if there's ever a time where you're feeling fearful, or maybe you want to change up your routine, or you want to bust up the energy, hey, get this. It's pretty cool. And it tells you the stuff that you need, the supplies. It doesn't look like you need a lot of stuff. And the ritual steps. So it will tell you like, and that's not very long, only seven steps, you know, for those like myself who, <laughs> who don't like to cook or anything. Um, I like to have steps that only have like two things and I go with the same thing with my spell work or anything like that. I don't want, you know, I don't want to take 47 steps to be able to get my, my desire. You know what I mean? Um, Unfortunately, it's our it's our DoorDash um, nation right now where we get everything when we want it. And sometimes in the spiritual world, it may not work as good as we like. You know what I mean? This was part of my certification. This is Crystal Grids, how and why they work. This is by um, Hibiscus Moon, who, like I said, is who I had my training from. Um, so this is all about Crystal Grids why you should work with crystal grids, the sacred geometry around it. And it also has some practical um, grid recipes in here and also some practical, like um, it will tell you like for abundance and prosperity, do this type of grid and do these crystals. And it's like, it also tells you how to set up an intention because when you set up your crystal grids, the intention, getting clear on it, when you activate it, that's going to make it all that much more powerful. Now, these are a series of books. Um, these are like, they were written in the 80s, but I love them. I got to go in order of them. So the first one is the Crystal Enlightenment, the Transforming of Properties of Crystals and Healing Stones. I lied. That's the second. Was this the first one? I'm like, I'm lying. I may be lying. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I'm going to talk about this one. So this is the... Um, the Crystal Enlightenment, and it's all about like a comprehensive yet easy to understand guide for how to use the crystals, how to use the gems. It's really good because it also gives you a body layout. So when you're working with crystal healing, like it will tell you like how to lay the crystals on the on your client or even on yourself, and it will tell you like what are crystals physically and as of technically, I can't talk tonight. Working with crystals for self healing, psychic protection. Um, generator crystals, which are really powerful crystals. If you ever get your hands on a generator crystal, ooh, teacher crystals, those are also super important. So there's there's certain crystals, like as you get more and more on your journey that are like really powerful to use. And like, let's say um, you're working with a Lemurian crystal and you're going into the seeds, like trying to find that window or that notch where you can meditate inside of within that crystal, that's been encoded for thousands and thousands of years that you can actually tap into that information and obtain that history and also get that healing benefit from it. That's why crystals are so powerful. The next one, um, I think this is the second one or maybe the, I don't know. I'm all confused. The crystal transmission. This is volume three. This is volume two. Oh, all right. I, I was right. This is volume one. This is volume two. So this is volume um, two, and basically what it is is crystal healing, at the, it's, and it goes more in depth as to how to apply the crystals, what crystals to use. This is also it goes over the six master crystals, time bridging, um, past and future life recall, laser wands. I mean, this is this is super intense. So if you're really wanting to dive into crystal knowledge, I really recommend that you get these um, crystal crystal lightning books. There's three of them. I'm going to show you the third one. And they're by Katrina Raphael. They're really powerful books. And then the last one we have is the Crystalline Transmission of Light. And this volume just goes over through um, a whole new dimension of crystal awareness, offering guidelines and instructions on how as we as humans can clear the, as the crystals and develop full spectrum of the random, the rainbow ray body. <laughs> so I was going to do three different Oracle cards, but I'm running out of time. 
I'm gonna show you this one real quickly. This is Crystal Angels by Doreen Virtue. It's a really amazing crystal deck. She partners an Ascended Master with a crystal. The other one I like is this Crystal Mandala by Alana Fairchild. She has ma uh, mandalas along with crystals. Super awesome for healing and whatnot. And I am gonna pull a card out of this one really quickly. This is an amazing deck. All, I get all of my crystals from Reiki Rocks in Albany, New York. She gifted me this Oracle deck. It is the Illustrated Crystal-y Oracle cards. And I'm gonna go super, super fast. <laughs> Everyone tell them I need a longer show. <laughs> all right. And this is Obsidian. And this is all about working with um, your shadow side. So I recommend anything that no longer serves you, look into it, release it. And I want to tell everyone to have a great evening. And I hope to see you guys all next Wednesday. And I hope this was helpful. And I hope you take care. Bye-bye.